Hi there, this is an update to the current version of Hairstrand Designer 1.3. So still talking about version 1 here. I'm working on version 2 on the side, but this is just a small update to this version to give you a bit more control of things. So you see now there's a maximum here of 16 preview strands per set. So if you increase the number of strands here, it's going to show you up to 16 strands per set. Now you can increase this with the mouse wheel. If you scroll up, you can see this increases. It goes up to a maximum of 60, but this will hit your frame rate. I've now added the frame per second at the top right. As you can see in my machine, I'm only getting four frames per second, but this is kind of useful for seeing roughly what the strands going to look like when they render. Uh, to render your strands, you have to click on one of these little boxes and click the generate. <clears throat> You'll see this little arrow here actually aligns with what you're going to see. And it takes a little while. And once that's done, you can preview using the little preview window box and you can see how the strands look. In previewer mode, you don't see this, so just be wary of that. You'll have to click on one of these to see whatever's been generated. Uh, what else have I added? Well, if you press F8, you can jump into the, the mixer editor so you can you know, make this more wavy or what have you. And then you press enter to go back. And you can see now uh, that I've edited, edited Mixer 1, I can influence all the strands with that. Uh, I can also de-influence each one using these sliders. And, you know, tapering also is taken into account there, so just be wary of that. I might have an option later where you can turn tapering on and off uh, as part of the influence in case you still want it. But you've got the mixer and offset. That, that affects everything still. It still affects all the strands. The Hair Strand Designer 2 is going to do away with all that. The whole algorithm is going to be changing. Uh, but this is just a small update to this. Uh, mouse wheel up and down or page up, page down will change the number of preview strands you see, but again, it will affect frame rate. And this gives you an idea of how the strands are going to look. Uh, it is roughly how they're going to look because when you generate, it changes things up a bit. And also, as you increase uh, the number of strands you see, it does affect the randomization algorithm a, a bit just for previewing. So you do have to generate to see the actual true strands you're going to get. Uh, another thing that you want to check out is the fact that I've... Um, so you've got all these, right, and you can change the... If you press F8, you can change the mixer. If you press up, you can change the other mixers. So there's three at the minute. And also if you press one two or three, it will randomize up those mixes as well. So if I go down to one and I press two, so mixer zero, sorry, is the first one. So you press one, it will randomize things up a bit. Two will randomize mixer one and three will maximize mixer two. This is all pretty much beta stuff, but you can see how that looks when you press enter. You can then shuffle them up, change the amount, and the influences. <clears throat> I'm also going to make a release of this um, that fixes the screen size for 4K monitors. So there'll be two versions. Uh, none of these actually do anything just yet. It looks like they do something, but you can ignore those. These were going to be a feature that I was going to add, but it's a little bit more complicated, and that led to Hair Strand Designer 2 being developed. So that's everything in this version. I hope you enjoy using it. Thanks for watching. Bye.